What's up guys? Um, I didn't film anything yesterday, but uh, my air compressor, my secondary, um, it actually dropped to zero at one point. I had to pull off to the side of the road. I um, tapped on the unloader valve and that seemed to give me back some pressure. But I, I offloaded, got to my receiver, offloaded this morning, and uh, I came over to the yard in Spokane, Washington to uh, get my truck serviced and checked and everything. So I got an air leak right there on that airbag. Yeah, right there. Maybe you can see that. It's got a flat spot right here. This side has a different bolt than the other side. Yeah, the whole thing's kind of wonky, but hopefully we can get it fixed. Yeah, it's trying to trying to keep up with all these batteries, man. It's difficult, dude. It, it's hard. I'm just trying to trying to keep a battery going, and it just it doesn't work. I feel like this thing is constantly plugged in. It sucks. If there was a high capacity battery out there for these things, please let me know. Um, I'm gonna try and get a setup to where I can have it hooked up to like an external power source or something. But uh, for now, I'm stuck with shitty batteries. this five hours later I got new tires brand new also slid back my fifth wheel a little bit like four back I've been wanting to do that for a couple of days now and no hissing I don't hear any hissing at all understand what they did was they uh it was a, a dryer a little dryer deal like i guess had malfunctioned and stuff so they fixed that but hopefully everything works um so now i'm uh, headed towards Bingen, washington uh from what i understand uh per the load notes it's about sixty-five thousand pounds so it's good that I got my pusher stuff figured out. Hopefully, I think so. Um, yeah, there was also a little light up here that didn't work. I kind of had a feeling. It just, one side seemed a little off than the other. Um, why is that in kilometers? What kind of game is this? Kilometers. How do I change that? What the crap is that? <laughs> oh, there we are. All right, push it five times. Changes it to miles. Um, yeah, so I got I got a full clock. 10, 34, 10, 05, so I'm, I'm working on my 14 right now. Uh, we got 61, 36 on my 70. Yes, I did my uh, pre-plan, so I kind of, I know where all my fuel stops are and everything. Um, I think we are ready to roll, man. I think we're ready to go. I was kind of hoping maybe I'd get, you know, get to go through Yakima, but it says we're gonna get there at like 10:34. It's 5:04 right now, so effectively, you know, five and a half hours, depending on, on what happens between now and then. But uh, yes, we have love stop, and then we have a pilot stop, and then, uh, matter of fact, I'll just show you. I'll just show you the business. The business. So that's my route right there. You can see that correctly. So Spokane, that's the Loves in uh, Ritzville. And then it comes down through Kennewick. I jump over uh, Hermiston on the Oregon side, go up through Rufus, and then I go up. Maybe I can spread this open. Yep, and then I go up onto this unnamed road. This scary little stretch right here. Um, right there and then uh vengeance right there so so i'm gonna try and pick this thing up at like seven in the morning i'm really gonna go for it but uh you know by the time it's gonna be nighttime you know i mean these back roads at night they can get a little sketch so be prepared 
you are warned I might not film shit after after this so <laughs> so just be aware of that um, yeah no I'm, I'm really just trying to like race against like this battery because this battery it just dies within like an hour and uh, you know I don't have everything off I got the Wi-Fi off I have the location off I have you know all the Bluetooth off I got everything off so it should last longer than what it does but it just don't so I thought about filling up over here on the Petro but uh, you know I get points at the loves so I mean uh, why not right uh, the only reason why I don't like going this route for the engine is because there's that little stretch where there's a bunch of like low hanging bridges and stuff or not bridges but like overpasses and I, I don't I hate overpasses I absolutely hate them but we're gonna do this it's gonna be cool and we're gonna get offloaded or loaded you know what I mean right all right let's get out of here oh my god okay so we're going over the bridge of gods it is super narrow so I just morning and um, it's 8 22 in the morning I'm still in sleep of birth I'm 9 14 but I'm gonna get moving here once my air levels start to come up a little bit and I can kind of move around um, so I'm picking up lumber about 65,000 pounds worth and um, I actually got here after this guy, but I'm guessing he's still sleeping. I was gonna get up earlier, but you know, I'm like, I'm tired, my neck hurts. It does, man, I think I slept on it weird. Um, yeah, I'm in shorts right now, it's kinda cold. This is at 66 out, I'm really, really contemplating putting on pants. <laughs> um, God, what a cough. Anyway, yeah, it's funny, after, after I got my truck worked on, it actually is building so much better now. It's so much better, it just behaves better, like everything about it is just a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get moving here and uh, get on with my day, you know what I'm saying? All right, so here is uh, SDS. Stop sign here. We gotta stop. Um, yes, this is SDS lumber and plywood and all sorts of great things. I've only been here one time, and that was with my trainer. So I'm just gonna stop it right here. All right, so we got here. Um, blah, blah, blah. Nothing too crazy to report, honestly. Just a lot of traffic. You know, every time coming to Kent, it's just a goddamn ordeal. But we're here. I'm actually waiting right now to see if they'll offload me right now. Um, my appointment's not until tomorrow, but let's see, it's 5:11 right now. So I'm actually just waiting for a phone call. Um, if they can get me offloaded right now, then hopefully I can get a pre-plan and be back on the road for at least another five hours. Dude, this week they've just been giving me like no miles. I mean, last week I had awesome miles. see eight days yeah so let's see Monday 
I did 202 Tuesday I did 300 and then today I did 218 <sighs> shameful yeah last week I had some awesome awesome miles um, from what I understand sometimes they do that they'll they'll do like they'll give you a really good week and then they'll follow that up with kind of a mediocre week to kind of average you out so if this is my mediocre week then that means that next week's gonna be my my heavy week I don't know I wish that they would just run me consistently you know what I mean but I uh, yeah I'll be back if uh, anything happens or if anything changes or if I'm not getting offloaded tonight at all okay. welcome back uh, when's uh, Thursday Thursday morning my shit at the Home Depot, now I'm going to USG, picking up there in uh, Rainier, Oregon, and then taking it to Spokane, to a place I've already been to, so I'm probably not going to really touch much on that, but I'm getting fuel in that right now, at the pilot, at the pilot, so that's what we got going on. It's Thursday. Just 
to keep everything in line, you know, it is, it is, it is Thursday, so, so you know, now I just sit here and I wait for something to open up. Uh, I'll be back. Does this area look familiar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good old Columbia River Highway. Look, like it was on the Oregon side. Remember that? Remember? Shit, It's kind of busy down there. You can actually see uh, the yard from up here. I like to look down there. See what's good. You know, see what's going on.
Yeah, so I'm gonna jump on here again. Uh, when we get to the yard, <clears throat> I might take a shower and then eat my sandwich. Uh, dude, I have been driving all day. I haven't really even stopped, even for 15 minutes. I got fuel and back on the road. So I literally have been driving like 400 miles just straight. I mean, with my low checks and stuff, but that's still business, you know? That's, that's all business. So, anyways, I'm going to, uh, yep, I'm gonna pick this back up when I get to the yard. Get out of here. Got my fuel. Got my death. Got everything I might need. I got my subway. Don't worry. Got my sub. Got a sandwich. This is the Genie Yard in uh, near Spokane. Looking all right. Yo, all right. I'm gonna go eat my sub by now. I'm hungry. <laughs> subway so that was super killer uh, so on the way today's working I'm gonna drop this off run over to another joint that's probably like 10 minutes away from where I'm dropping off and uh, pick that up I think this stuff needs like this queen and stuff it's first come first serve IE EDS I've been there once before 
And then that stuff that I'm picking up is going to um, Tacoma on Monday. So I can actually leave like later on Sunday, late Sunday, because it doesn't uh, deliver until like 6.30 in the morning on Monday. But hopefully I can park on their property. It's Monday Jay's problem. Like it's not it's not Friday Jay's problem, you know. <laughs> Friday Jay's problem is dropping this stuff off, getting over to the other place, picking that stuff up, and then getting home. Like that's all I'm, I'm I need to worry about right now. Yesterday was an interesting day. Um see I went from Kent to Longview, uh Rainier, Oregon. And then from Rainier, Oregon I went to, uh, yeah, I went all the way down through 84 and then up. <sighs> that was a long drive, but it was an interesting day because I damn near hit a deer. Um, started walking down, and then I noticed it, like, it was creeping. Like, as I was approaching, it was walking kind of towards the road. I was like, oh, ew, oh. Hit my air horn. And that, I mean, that could go in different directions, right? But at, at least it stopped. Like as I was approaching it closer, like it, it went further and then it stopped. You know, and so I, once I was broadside to it, like the deer was right here. It was like right here. Started to go the other direction. guys this is how I uh, pre you know I, I plan my trips take a look at where my, I'm supposed to go and then I'll mark the flag on the GPS um, then I'll of course check for for any low bridges or anything like that that could get me into trouble along the route um, but yeah, that's how I do it man that's how I do it so we're almost done here he's got me pretty well offloaded uh, and then we're gonna head out that direction and uh, Looks like hang a right So we're gonna hang a right here and then go out that that way So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll turn this thing on again when we get closer to that Get loaded here. 
Yeah, here's the map. That they gave you. Hmm. Well, at least I'm almost there. Oh man, we are done. Boys. <coughs> Maybe when I stop later I'll I'll get out and show you my shitty tarping job. You look outside, it's 97 goddamn degrees out. It's hot. You know, I put this screen on just because, you know. Oh, I need a new thing. My uh, clamp is broke, actually. It's probably not even gonna... It's not even gonna clamp in there anymore. It's super duper broke. <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna figure out how to get out of here because I think what street is this? What building is that? Dock 12. So, okay, 17. There's 17. So this <coughs> must be 21. Okay, so we are right here in front of 20. It's 24 is behind me. So, right here, no, I'll go up here, past 17, right before 13, hang down, go past 17 right here, and then come back, and then I can hit Euclid Ave, and then, or I can just go B Street, yeah, fuck that, I mean, yeah, darn that, I'll just go straight until I hit the D Street, and then just hang a left. Yeah, it seems a lot easier. I'll do that. <coughs> All right. Onward and away. I got seven hours of drive. Um, so honestly, I got I got plenty of time, man. I got plenty of time. This is all I'm doing today. I mean, it's not like I got any crazy appointments or anything. So this is it, guys. <laughs>